Okay, so today we are doing yet another vegetarian recipe, but if you want to add meat to this, of course, like any other recipe I'll show you, um, you can add whatever you like to it. You can have it as a side dish. We are making smoky baked beans. So I wanna keep this one quick and show you how easy it is to make them and why I'm using the ingredients I'm using. So you'll see here, I have a selection. I've got cannellini beans, uh, black eyed beans, and I have mixed beans. So when it comes to our protein sources, and I know I'm always going on about protein, but it is important. Um, when it comes to our protein sources, there is this concept of a whole protein, and that means that it has all nine of the essential amino acids um, in it. So we'll say steak, chicken, eggs would be examples of whole proteins. But something like beans, while they have the essential amino acids in them, they have them in varying amounts. And while we'll say cannellini beans might be very high in lysine, which is involved in the synthesis of protein, um, it might be quite low in methionine, which is involved in metabolism. And it's the same for these other beans. It's the same with the black eyed beans. Um, and the reason I'm using mixed beans, so that's this tub here, is because it has kidney beans in it and some other little bits and pieces. And kidney beans might be a bit higher in methionine, a little bit lower in lysine. So it just means you're getting that balance of the essential amino acids. So what I'm going to do here now to start, I have all my coriander on the side. I am going to chop uh, two red onions. Um, we're going to pop them into a pan. Okay, so we'll get the pan going there. Now, you can use butter, you can use olive oil, whatever you like to cook with. If you're going to have baked beans, if you're like me, and you like them with some butter on toast, um, you know, keep using your butter higher in saturated fats. Uh, you might be wanting to watch your fat intake or your saturated fat intake, in which case a little drizzle of olive oil might be a little bit better. So I'm going to chop some red onion. Again, you can use white onion if you prefer, one large white onion or uh, two small to medium red onions. And you can leave them chunky. They don't have to be really, really fine. I'm gonna throw some oil. And be careful not to blast the heat up because you don't want these guys burning before you get all the beans in. Now, in a second, I also want to talk you through my selection of herbs and spices, the tower block here. You don't have to have all of these in there. In the same way as you don't have to add garlic to this recipe, some of you might just be totally horrified at the idea of baked beans in the morning with garlic in them. Uh, whereas I suppose we're inclined to eat them here for lunch. We actually will eat them any time of the day. In this house, we would literally, we literally eat anything at any time of the day. So these onions are particularly um, tear inducing. So I may need to go wash my eyes in a moment. Okay, so again, when it comes to your protein intake, if you have a diet with mixed protein sources, like let's say meat and dairy products um, and plant-based proteins. Oh, it's really getting now, hold on. then you don't have to worry all that much about getting such um, a variety of sources when it comes to the beans. However, if, as I say, you eat a vegetarian or a vegan diet, then it is important. It is important to ensure that you're getting the variety and the mixture of those essential amino acids. Now they're called essential, and there are nine of them because many of the amino acids, um, these essential amino acids, can't be made in the body. So you have to get them in your diet. And many of the other amino acids then, or the non-essential amino acids, can be made from the essential amino acids. So um, they can be made uh, in the body or synthesized in the body. So I'm going to put in two cloves of garlic. I'm adding three tins of beans. So it's quite a large portion, and I'll be freezing um, a good few portions of this actually. I'm about to go to the beach for a swim, so I'm trying to get this done quickly. And it's why 
this is such a great meal if you're in a rush because it actually is so nice for dinner and um, I have a little recipe as well that I might put up on the vlog uh, for three ingredient um, wraps they're kind of like pittas so they go really really nice with this and you can just use them to scoop it up alternatively as I said before serve with a little slice of sourdough bread and some poached eggs if you want um, one of my clients uh, uses this as a base for kind of a, 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 what is it, what did she call it, like a sausage stew, um, where she got jumbo sausages and fried them up and popped them into it. And her kids loved it. So, there's all your potential options now for this dish. Okay, so that's the garlic done in there. And we'll give it a mix. So surprise, surprise, at some point we're going to be adding um, the soy sauce for flavor again, but I just want to very quickly go through what I have here. I have onion powder, beautiful flavor um, with this meal, but we have two onions in. So if you don't have onion powder, it's all right. Whole coriander toasted in the pan with the onions and garlic is to die for, but it gives quite a distinct flavor. So if, again, you don't want to have it in there, if you think that it's a little bit strong for breakfast, then you don't have to, don't worry about it. It's not an essential um, part of the recipe. What I am going to add here is a red pepper because uh, I do want to increase the nutritional profile a little bit in terms of getting in some of those plant fennels that we spoke about the last day, um, which are going to help with inflammation and uh, just Getting any kind of veggies in here is a good idea, really. So I had planned to cook or to pull some uh, spinach from the garden, but it's it's raining outside, it's lashing rain, and I'm a total <laughs> daisy when it comes to when it comes to the rain. So I'm not going to go out and get myself soaked ahead of filming. I don't mind going out there in a wetsuit, but uh, I wasn't going to stand in my kitchen and cook with a wetsuit on. So. As the onions and garlic are sauteing there, we just get the pepper ready. So the rest of what I have here, so again, non-essential, coriander and onion powder, let's put those to the side. Smoked paprika gives it that smoky flavor, hence the name, and gives it a lovely bite and um, it does really add to it. I don't like too much smoked paprika. I just, I don't know, I just don't like too much. So add a small bit. If you want to add more, taste it when you're done. You can add it at the end if you want to. Cayenne pepper, do not go over the top with this. If you do, it'll completely change the flavor of the dish. So about half a teaspoon of this cayenne pepper and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika for normal kind of circumstances. Now, if you put in too much cayenne pepper, uh, oh, the flavor is kind of, it's kind of reminds me of tea, but it makes it a little bit more, oh, I don't know the word. You can decide for yourself. Again, start small and add as you go on. What I am going to add is some harissa powder. I'm going to add a teaspoon of this because I love the bite it gives and the flavor. So you know the way sometimes you add some chilies or whatever and they just add heat, but they add very little flavor. Harissa is going to add flavor and a little bit of heat. And I'm going to add hot paprika because again, that adds the paprika flavor without the smokiness and it adds a little bit of a bite, but it doesn't go wild. So I'm just gonna lay these out here. Now, again, with your beans, you're getting about 10% protein for 100 grams of beans. And if you're gonna have a breakfast portion and you're trying to increase your protein intake, you might have about 100 grams on some toast. Again, you're just getting about 10 grams of protein in there. And because it's a plant-based protein, it's likely that you're going to absorb a little bit less of it than you would if it was um, an animal-based protein. So what I'm going to do to add to the protein content is I'm gonna add in some tofu. You don't have to. For those of you afraid to cook with tofu, don't be. I used to I used to wonder about the texture of it, but like I don't like big chunks of tofu in my food. But if you cut it up nice and small, you don't really notice it. Um, and again, you're just you're just adding in 
an extra layer of nutrition. And you could also add in there, if you wanted to, your smoked chicken, your little cubes of beef, or sausage, or some bacon, or some chorizo would be lovely as well. So play around with these dishes a little bit. This is how I like it. But then if I was making something like a shakshuka, uh, might make that for you another day, uh, I'd be adding in some uh, roast red peppers and some extra little bits and pieces. So add my tofu in there. And this is where I'm adding my soy sauce. Now for some tomato based dishes, they can be a little bit sour and uh, some people like to add a teaspoon of sugar or a teaspoon of honey. You can do that if you wish. Um, I'm not going to add that in this, in this instance because I'm going to add loads of coriander and I just want that sharpness of the chili and I want them to be hot smoky beans. I don't want them sweet. So I'm going to add here now my harissa, so about a teaspoon. Again, this is quite a large portion because I've got three tins of beans. I'm going to add a teaspoon of my hot paprika. And I'm just going to add half a teaspoon of the smoked paprika. Now, I'm also adding today my, my whole coriander seeds because I just really do love that flavour. Okay, so half a teaspoon of smoked. And I'm not adding cayenne pepper. So what I'm going to do, when you put these in, these um, coriander seeds, push everything in the pan to the side and let them toast for a little bit. It just allows it to release the flavour a bit better. Now you could also use fennel seed in there, which gives it the most amazing flavour. Again, totally up to you, up to your tastes and what flavours you like. Uh, I know this might be a bit unusual for some people, um, it's kind of a, a different dish. And look, with these, if you want to just add your beans, your chopped tomatoes and some salt and pepper, then that's perfectly fine too. You don't have to go wild. So as well as that, I'm going to add some chopped coriander. Now, with coriander, I think it's important to keep some fresh coriander to the side. So I'm kind of adding a punch of chopped coriander here and I'm gonna keep some to throw on the top as well because when it's not cooked, that fresh coriander is so zingy, it's amazing. If you wanted to, you could add a squeeze of lemon or lime to this, uh, which is a pretty special flavor as well. Uh, again, you might not like that for breakfast, but certainly for lunch, it's tasty. Okay, so I can smell those spices starting to release. I'm going to start adding in my beans here now. And then we're just going to add in um, my tin of chopped tomatoes on the top. And we're more or less ready to go. So it's, as you can see, a really, really quick, easy meal. And it brings a whole new meaning to baked beans on toast. Okay, last thing we're adding, aside from our seasoning, is, as I said, a tin of chopped tomatoes. Be aware when you're buying chopped tomatoes um, that some of them are sweetened, some of them have herbs added. So you might be doing a dish like this, which has lots of coriander, and then you realize after pouring in your chopped tomatoes that there's basil in it as well. So just be aware of that because you can get a little bit of a clash of flavors. So that's it. We don't need to do any more, only let it cook. I'm gonna add some black pepper. Now, um, what is good to add as well, in fact, is uh, if you want to rinse out your tin, actually, 
just a small extra drop of water and then you're going to add some uh, tomato puree. I use a double concentrate because I think it's just more in a tube, you need to use less, better for the environment, for waste and all the rest. So a good tablespoon of that. And then mix. Now, if you like that really, really tomatoey and you like lots of sauce over the sides, you can add a second um, jar of this. I'll show you the mix now. And you can decide for yourself if you need two jars or one. Okay, this is the heaviest frying pan I have in the house. So this is our mix. Now, if you wanted to add more nutrition to it, you could add two handfuls of spinach. You could add, uh, what did we say? You could add some fresh chopped tomatoes there as well. Um, but this for me today now is absolutely perfect. So as I said, we're going for a swim shortly. I'm gonna let this sit with a cover on it and I'm gonna come back after my swim to a nice, warming, hearty plate of beans on toast. So I'm just gonna leave this on the hob for a moment now to let it simmer.